Today I'm going to show you how to teach a child to dribble a basketball. Did you know kids are doing daily motions that equate to the same motions needed to dribble a basketball? For example, handing you something, throwing a piece of paper away in the trash can. So today I'm going to teach you how to equate the same motions to dribbling. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach, I want to teach you the skills and techniques to learn the basics of dribbling. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the shocking truth about dribbling. Next, I'm going to show you the number one skill you need to master to become a tight dribbler. Last, I'm going to show you how to take charge of your basketball handles. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give you, but only if you stick around to the very end. Let's get right into the shocking truth about dribbling. Dribbling does not start with the basketball. It starts with developing the mindset of the universal release. Let me give you the breakdown. The universal release is three things. Extend your arm, snap your wrist, your elbow automatically locks. The way I teach it may not be correct grammar. I simply tell players this. Extend arm, snap wrist, lock elbow. If I'm right, I believe that's six words. Extend arms, snap wrist, lock elbow. Simple. That's the same motion of, of handing you something, and that's the same motion if I had a wad of paper in my hand and you asked me to throw something away, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to think twice about it. But it all starts with the mentality and the mindset of the universal release. Then you get the ball in your hand to learn the control and feel of the ball. Because everything on your hand touches the ball except your palm. So if I'm going to back up and show you a little something, that universal release I just said, extend your arm, snap your wrist, lock your elbow, that motion will smash the ball and make the ball come right back to my hand. That's the same motion and no different, which equates to reaching out to grab something, hand you something as a parent, as a teacher, as a coach, and also throwing a piece of paper in the trash can. And I'll give you another thing that it equates to. It equates to shooting a basketball. You may not be able to see it, but it equates me making a pass. The, what all three had in common is that they went in a straight line. And that's what it takes. First, it's mentality to think straight. Universal release is thinking straight. Extend arm, snap wrist, lock elbow. And that motion is now down repeatedly. All these dribbles I'm doing are universal release. That's simple. Before I show you the number one skill you need to master to become a tight dribbler, I noticed that you're not a subscriber. I develop premium basketball players, and we have a lot of information on this channel. I roll out 20 new high-quality videos every month to help you out. So you may want to become a subscriber. Click that subscribe button. Now let me show you the number one skill you need to master to become a tight dribbler. See, the first body part you need to learn how to dribble a ball with is your hand. Okay? And you want to make sure that you understand something. These three fingers, you can look at both hands. They are in the middle of your wrist. And the key is, when you push these three down, that helps your wrist go down as well. Hence, that's where the elbow locks, and now you have a straight line. And you want to repeat that motion. Your pinky and thumb, they support the basketball. They don't really do anything down. They more so mold your hand. That's the, that's the control and feel I discussed. Okay? But you want to talk about the direction of this basketball. That's what does it. It directs those three fingers. So all these movements I'm doing, my wrist is moving because those three fingers are going. 
and where these three go, my wrist must follow. So when you learn to dribble with your hand, that's why you want to explore dribbles like the V dribble in front of you, the V dribble beside you, I'm working on my range of motion, the ball has to go in a straight line, making circles, right, learning how to go V dribbles, change, right, before you start going between and behind, learn how to dribble with your hand, that's the key. Yeah, so you want to teach players, especially when they're younger, to learn how to dribble with their hand. Because we have to get that wrist motion moving where that it's like a blur. If you put that same motion in your hand, you'll see a blur. And we talk about the speed of that. His hand's a blur. So when I go side to side like a V dribble, when I go side to side front, side to side beside me, the ball is moving in a straight line. And I'm learning how to dictate and control the basketball. That simple. Now that you know the universal release mindset, I want you to comment below with control to let us know you've learned something from this video and you are ready to control the ball with your fingers. Go ahead and drop control in the comments below. Now, now I'm going to show you how to take charge of your basketball handles. See, once a young child gets older and they advance from dribbling with their hands, that dribble with the hand is going to become too passive because they're going to, they're going to grow taller and that ball is going to start fading. Now, to take charge, you got to learn how to use your whole arm for the dribbling experience. You want to learn how to drive the elbow through the basketball. Now, this is a whole arm experience. When I'm younger, I got to get used to, again, that hands a blur motion. That's as quick as I'm going to dribble the ball. I get older, defenders get more aggressive. I need to have a whole arm experience and drive my elbow through the ball. And when I do that, the basketball comes back to my hands quickly. And the very first rule that I teach when it comes to putting the ball on the ground is we need to master the hard pound dribble. That is the fundamental dribble you have to master. Because if you master the hard pound dribble, then the hard pound dribble is just going to go in a different direction. It's going to go in di different directions. I'm doing a hard pound dribble, I'm doing a universal release, as I talked about earlier, I'm just doing it in different situations now. I'm making all the same dribbles, but now the ball is just being dribbled in different situations. So I teach players, don't make that stuff special. All you're doing is a hard pound dribble. It's a mindset. If you master the hard pound dribble, you can now master and understand how to drive your elbow through the ball, so the ball comes back to your hands quickly, and then all I just showed you and become a tight dribble will happen because you're in motion. Just like, again, extending your hand out to grab something, throwing something away, that same universal release you saw me do right here, and I'm pounding the ball hard. When I'm younger, when I was younger, it was a hand dribble to get used to just pushing the ball down, those three fingers in the middle of my wrist. When you get older, you got to learn to get your elbows involved. Because now the defender's more aggressive, and now it's about making moves to really get by your defender like a tight dribbler. And I can only do that by the understanding of those three fingers. The palm is not touching the basketball. It's all in my finger pad and fingertips. And every time I dribble that ball, it's like I'm saying bye-bye. And I'm saying bye-bye to my defender as I blow them up, as you are officially now a tight dribbler. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We covered a lot in this video, and I want to make sure I'm really helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle basketball principles and in what situation to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. And you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. And if you're really interested in becoming an elite ball handler, check out our tight dribblers course that can be found at the same link. It's not live yet, but you can get on the pre-order list. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.